Here with the uh, center marked on the headstock, I can now get the center location and transfer it to the tool post, which I finished up. You can see I just put some nice chamfers on it, drill the hole clean through it so that we can affix it to the, the little sled here for it. And then I pocket it out the bottom just to help give it a little bit better um, grip when it gets tightened down. What I'm going to use is this uh, indexable tool holder for this lathe, so I'll bore, uh, or bore, I'll cut a slot here uh, in the side of this tool post that this will slide in and there'll be Allen keys, just like a standard tool post. Um, so right now what I'm doing is just setting so I can figure out where the height is um, and then uh, you know, cut it there. I don't want to use shims so I'm going to try to cut it perfectly. If I mess up I can always use shims and get this at the perfect height. And uh, yeah, and then once the lathe is running, we can make a nice big handle for this thing and start cleaning up all the parts and making it pretty. Um, so yeah, that's a game plan. We get this mounted and then get the plates turned and we can get the chuck mounted. All right, moment of truth. I oiled everything up and man, things move nice now. I was able to tighten up all the gibs and everything and everything is nice and smooth. So, uh, I got the tool mounted. I actually did have to shim it a little bit. Um, but let's try cut, let's try facing this piece off. This is steel, so like the first cut this lathe is gonna do it was steel. I'd like to start with something softer, but let's see what happens. tight before we get too carried away here. All right, let's go. So far, so good. Let's give it a little bit of a cut now. Oh, that cuts like a dream. Advancing this carriage is going to get old fast, but... Alright, let's give it some work. That would be a pretty decent cut. Not the best cutting fluid here, but... height perfect, but let's see how that turned out. Let's get this out of the way. Freaking happy with that, that's awesome. <laughs> There's a bit of, bit of vibration. <laughs> I think it's in the carriage. They can cut it, but there's a little bit of vibration here yet. I gotta adjust out of this because you can see it. Eric, get you nice and close. Ooh, that's way too close. Focus, you son of a bee sting. Eric, can you see that kind of swirl? So I gotta tighten up the gibbs a little bit more yet, but. Cuts it like a dream, zero vibration too. I mean, it might be through the camera, but through the hand wheels, you can't feel anything. Yay, all right, let's build the big adapter for the truck.
emergency, I'm using the power feed drill. Oh boy, but. Uh, the finish is beautiful. Actually, all it was, it wasn't anything, I tightened the gibbs up a little bit here, but all of it was in this bottom, excuse the cat again, uh, all of it was in this bottom rail. I just uh, wedged it up tight again, so you can see there's air spaces here, but it's just because it's non-uniform or something. Um, but yeah, I just wedged this up tight against the pipe, and uh, all the chatter disappeared. It's amazing how much these rails flex um, under cutting. Just even a few thou gives you all kinds of wobble, but as you can see now, it is beautiful. Cool. Another modification uh, that I did to the lathe while I was trying to chase down that uh, vibration was I put these little uh, aluminum straps that push against the bottoms of the rails here, and that keeps the whole carriage from lifting up now. Uh, I probably have to do it on the back as well, but since there's no pulling force on the back, I just have left it out for now, and I'll make something in the future. Uh, so here you can see we have the plates ready to mount the big three jaw, which I got sitting over there. Um, what I ended up doing is I used a 1 8 plate, and I used a half inch plate, or a quarter inch plate of aluminum, and I just CNC cut them um, with a, a bore that would fit perfectly over the shaft just to get everything roughly centered, and I oversized them uh, significantly. This was actually just a piece of scrap that was round, so I found a rough center and and put that little bolt pattern in there and the big plate on the back, I see and see it everything, but I sized it, I oversized it so that uh, even if I mount it off center, which I did slightly, I can use the lathe to true it down. So now we'll uh, true up this plate to fit. There's a little registration. There's that registration groove in the back of the chuck. So this small 1 8 plate will fit that registration groove. And then this larger quarter inch plate has bolt holes that correspond to the holes on the lathe chuck. So let's turn it down. All right, that's way too difficult to do when it's sitting on the lathe, so I just took the headstock off, or the shock off here, and I'm just gonna put the screws in the back. I put all these holes in here dead on, and I made it the exact size of the thread, so hopefully that'll help align everything. I overboard my registration plate by about like five thousandths of an inch, so. See how close I can get it to running perfectly true. All right, we got the big chuck mounted back on the lathe. Um, you can see that I've swapped the jaws on it, and I've also put my dial indicator on it. And uh, this is without any alignment yet. And like I said, I underboard that, so I'm gonna have to play with this spindle to, uh, or the lathe chuck to get it running true, but probably can't see on the video due to the light outside and none inside. But we have about two thou, two and a bit, uh, thousands of an inch of run out. So I'm gonna correct that over the next few days, but uh, close enough to just try some turning on it. All right, let's turn something. This is hardened steel, so I'm not gonna turn that. Not with this insert anyways. It is uh, not meant for it. So this is just uh, C360 brass, your standard brass. Let's see how it turns. Oh, 
I need hand wheels on this thing. Okay. Let's do a little facing cut here. That threw some knurling. This is on the new stock. That is nice. Let's check that again. Much cares for facing aggressively. <laughs> 